Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. For at the time of writing it, I'm not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deathly grey. I write this note to say why Kieran's not at work today. While working on the 40th floor, some bricks I had to clear. But tossing them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't happy, he is an awkward sod. He said I had to carry them down the ladders in the hod. While clearing all those bricks by hand, it was so very slow. So I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in my haste to do the job, I was too blind to see that a barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. And so when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, and to my dismay I found that halfway up I met the bloody barrel coming down. For well, the barrel broke my shoulder as to the ground it sped. And when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with the head. But I clung on tightly, numb with shock from this almighty blow. While the barrel spilled out half its bricks and forty floors below. When these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. But I clung on tightly to the rope, my body racked with pain. And halfway down I met the bloody barrel once again. Now the force of this collision halfway down the office block caused multiple abrasions and a nasty case of shock. But I clung on tightly to the rope as I fell towards the ground and I landed on the broken bricks the barrel had scattered round. Now as I lay there on the ground I thought I'd pass the worst but the barrel hit the pulley wheel and then the bottom burst. A shower of bricks rained down on me, I didn't have the hope. As I lay there bleeding on the ground, I let go of the bloody rope. The barrel now being heavier, so started down once more. It landed right across me, as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs and my left arm, and I can only say, I hope you'll understand why Kieran's not at work today.